in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. It's not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. What we're whipping in the pots and we're serving great dishes. It's not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. Yeah, it's mama in the kitchen whipping up the dishes. You already know. Knock it off. I'm not it. I'm not a rapper. No. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. What's, What's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Ma, Ma in, in the, the Kitchen. kitchen. Sunday dinner edition. What? What? Y'all ain't gonna guess what we having today, y'all. What we, we having? having some uh, fried turkey, some ham. Hold on, wait a minute. With the cherries and the pineapples on top, some baked macaroni. Ooh, some baked chicken, y'all. Some spaghetti, some greens. Knock it off. We ain't having all that. We not having that? No. Mama, tell the people what we have in here. What we really have is some baked... No, no, I'm wrong. We having some fried pork chop. Fuck! Now, she was right about the baked macaroni and cheese. Yeah, okay, hold on. Wait a minute, y'all. We in the prep position right now. So, we're going to do some... I used to do this when the kids was real young. Some fried corn. Southern fried corn. Southern fried corn. Hash and we're going to have some cornbread. Corn. We all to get all this cake from. You already know. Oh, oh. That cornbread. What they say? I was cornbread fed. Honey, I was turkey fed. Y'all wasn't ready for that one. Anyway, so mama, what's the word of the day? The word of the day is believe mm -hmm. and trust. Mm -hmm. You know, if you believe and you trust in God... He will, he will see you through all the way. So just when you call on him and you believe and you trust that he will deliver, he will. Maybe not in our time, but it will come. Just trust, believe, and just hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. That's the word of the day. That's all we're going to say. And before we start, we're going to pray. Hallelujah. All right. Let's get started. You was waiting on me to start praying. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah, baby. That's about it. I'm hungry. It's time to start. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. We back and we finna show y'all what y'all need for the mac. Oh, we already seasoned our pork chop. They are in the refrigerator marinating, and we are gonna show y'all everything y'all need. Y'all need some evaporated milk, two eggs, two eggs, pepper, salt, and that's garlic powder. Salt, salt, and what else, mama? We need, you need about a stick of butter. Real butter tastes better. This is uh, salted, Mom. I don't care. Yeah, this salted butter, y'all. We got um, uh, medium, medium cheese, medium cheddar. cheddar cheese. And then I got some super sharp cheddar to top it off with. Oops, I got my hands all in. So what I already put a, um, a half a stick of butter and my, um, my, new, my macaroni noodles once they were done. Oh, and this the box that she used, y'all. Yeah, I I usually use the regular, what you call, but I like to use the, the cheese. Mama, move back so I'm going to take your head cut off. There we go. All right. Go ahead. You ready to use the what? I, I like to use the, the cream cheese that's in that box. So when I'm doing macaroni and cheese quickly, I use that, that um the deluxe box. Here she, is. she used that. Get yeah, over. so. Get over it because she can make it homemade too. Don't play with my mama though. See, you see how, you see that? Because they was playing with your mama. But I am still going to make it from scratch, so. So put two, y'all put two eggs in y'all shoes and I. <laughs> okay, let me get behind the camera. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to get behind the camera so y'all can see what she doing. Y'all, what I'm first going to do, I'm going to take my evaporated milk. Remember, I already had put a half a stick of butter in my noodles after they cooked and they were. They were um, they was real hot, so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add more butter towards the, at the end. I might not need this whole can of milk, but you might you might even need to add a little bit more milk to it. Yeah, I'll use the whole can. Stir that in. Take my eggs. Take the eggs, crack the eggs, you guys. Take them, crack the eggs, and you want to stir this in real evenly. 
This is what's gonna help make it nice and creamy. Nice and creamy. I like you got regular milk. I'm gonna need to add a little bit more regular milk. Hey, he go get Tony. I mean, mom and the milk out the fridge. Y'all finna see Tony grand inches. Here he come, y'all. Yeah. Really? He thought wrong. He thought he won't go be on camera. And look at your Chubby, you better get out of my kitchen. I'm not playing with you. Look at your Tony, say hi. Hello. This is how everybody fam. My, how much milk you just put up in there? Um, probably like a fourth of a cup. That should be enough. All right. Oh, she getting it creamy and ready, y'all. It's raining outside. So you know what that means? After we eat this Sunday dinner, it's it's lights out. <laughs> night, night. My move that milk. You just put it in the camera view. Perfect. Okay, like I said, I I usually make it from scratch. But when I like it to make it creamy, I add, I, I use the deluxe box and I like to add the cheese sauce to it. But you don't have to, or you can use Velveeta to make it creamy. But this is a little, little cheaper than buying the Velveeta because Velveeta could be quite expensive. So I'm going to add this in. And I might have to add just a little bit more milk just to get this all. Okay, like I said, I added that cheese pack, that cream cheese sauce in here, and I'm just mixing, getting it evenly, coating all my noodles. Mama, let me stir. Okay, you can add something else while I'm stirring. I'm going to add my seasonings now. You want to add a little salt? Black pepper. What are you in? I can't see. A little salt, a little black pepper. And I like to add a little garlic. Just a little garlic. My no, that's not how you say garlic. Remember garlic, you say garlic. <laughs> little garlic. Garlic. Dang, you meant a little too. Yeah, yes, but they don't need much. A lot of people don't Mama, you know when, when black people say a little, that mean. That like, mean what? Like, at least a, a tablespoon. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't think you want no tablespoon of garlic in. Now I'm adding the medium cheese. I'm not going to add it all because I'm going to put some on top. All right. And we just look, look. Can y'all see this? How it's good it's looking? All right, we're gonna start it in. Now you can't have macaroni and cheese if you don't have no extra sharp chatter. That's what gives you the of the macaroni and cheese. That's what gives you that that bite that mm, that oh. <laughs> That's what my mama always. That, like that. What's called on that? What? That's what, who always what? Grandma, my mama always said. Okay, go ahead. And you just want to cut and slice. Oh my, what type of pan you will need for the cream corn? I'm going to need a, a frying pan. Like a cast iron? Yeah. Okay. And put me some vegetable oil in it, in the cast iron skillet. And you got to steal a little piece of cheese. Mmm. Mama, only the mice steal cheese. Well, I guess I'm a rat this morning. Oh. Okay, what you want to do? Mice are kids. Some vegetable oil? Yeah, here? some vegetable oil. Oh, I'm going to do I have some vegetable oil. Yeah, I hope you got some if we frying pork chops. We could use olive oil, Mama. Oh, no, we're not using no <laughs> olive oil to fry no pork chops. I, no, I'm talking about for the hits of the cream. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. When y'all was growing up, I ain't know nothing about no olive oil. Mama. So I'm not gonna They can look at me and tell you ain't know about olive oil. No. Hashtag plus five all my life. Okay, um, uh, give me a little bit more of that milk. What oh uh, 
Because you don't want no dry macaroni and cheese because you got to put it in the oven to bake it. Y'all, I didn't know that my macaroni was dry. It still be dry when I make it. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -mm. You don't want it dry. I don't want nobody's dry, hard macaroni and cheese. I want it nice and cheesy. Okay, you want to tell me when to stop? That, uh, that's, I'm good. How are you holding it, oh, baby? You oh, late. Oh, late oh. as a fruitcake. <laughs> Y'all get that? Okay, tell me how much oil you want. Because nobody likes fruitcake. So people have fruitcakes forever. So it, and they try to pass it to the next person. So forget about it. It went over y'all head. I mean, I, just a little bit more. That's a little bit more. Child is crazy. That's how much uh, uh, oil you want. A little bit more oil in that skillet, please. Okay. Okay, I think we got enough. Is that enough? Yeah, oh, that's too much now. You said, oh no. I said a little bit more, not a lot bit more. Okay, now I'm going to add the rest of this cheese and I'm going to put it on top of my macaroni. I, and I use, usually use more cheese in this. Okay, this enough? Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, I see this. Oh, oh. I usually use mozzarella. I usually use Kobe Jack. I usually put um, mild and sharp chatter in my macaroni and cheese. But I was being a little cheap today, so I only got chatter and my chatter and extra sharp chatter. So we just gonna finish cutting up. But I'm gonna use this whole block, and we use that whole bag of of um, medium cheddar. So that should be good. All right, y'all. I'm gonna do my final step. I'm gonna add, add some butter on the top of it, just a couple little pats to make it nice and buttery. Nice and buttery. All right, all right. That's how y'all need to see. She gonna add all that butter on top. It's, it's then, only a fourth of a stick, y'all. I'm not gonna add. Sticks. I'm not gonna add. The, it's just a fourth of a stick. I'm not gonna even gonna add a whole. What you come? I'm just gonna put one in each corner and one in the middle. A, All right. A square in the middle. Uh, then she's going to put it in the oven. And, and I'm going to put it in the oven and I'm going to bake it. All right, put it in the oven. Mama. See, that's before it goes in the oven. This is what it looks like. All right. Put it in the oven. And we're going to put it in the oven. And we're going to bake it for about 30 to 45 minutes. All right. I'm back. And now I'm going to start my fried corn. I got two cans of whole corn. Ugh. Two corn, cans of whole corn, corn corn. I got I told Alexis to add some grease in my cast iron skillet. It's been on getting hot. So I'ma add y'all here sizzling. Yeah, sizzling. I'm gonna add both cans of corn. Now I want you to preserve my Muyo uh salt right there. I want you to, to preserve one can of the, the liquid juice out of your out your corn. So like I did back here, I, re, I reserved, and it, it made like a cup of, of juice. We're going to need that later on in our recipe. And we're going to let this corn cook and fry up a little bit. So what we need is two cans of whole corn of corn. We need a little flour. We need a little sugar. We need the juice from the... We need the juice from the corn, the can of corn, and we're gonna need some butter. Those are all you need. So we're gonna come back as when I add my next ingredient. Ready? You already on. Oh, oh. Michael, Michael, already. Okay, y'all, now I'm gonna add me a little sugar to this because it's starting to um, it's starting to stick to my bottom of my pan. So add me about, a, yeah, that's good. You add the sweetness to how sweet you want it. I don't really like mine all that sweet. You want more? You want? I didn't know you. I didn't know how much you want me to add. I, I said y'all to your sweetness. Just a little bit more. Just a tip bit more. Okay, that's good enough. She gonna make me bust her up. That's all you need. Yeah. Okay, what you need next? I need some flour. Flour. Okay. You take like your finger full and sprinkle it. Mm -mm, it can't do that. I gotta do this one. 
No, need more. A, te like a tablespoon, uh-huh. Like a tablespoon of flour. We ain't gonna use all that. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. You give me a little bit more. Give me just a little bit more. Okay. Now this is where your water come in at. You get your juice. Okay. Your juice. Okay, you pour your juice on the pour it in there. So this kind of like gravy, like the consistency of gravy. How you make gravy? No. Come on, pour some more. Pour it all in there. This how you make gravy. Then. With corn juice. Now I'm saying you add you add your flour, then your liquid like that. No, you make a roux when you make gravy, honey. Mama, how do you think you and you make a roux? With flour and butter. Or oil. Uh, then you add your liquid. Yeah, but I didn't do that. Didn't she have oil first? Didn't she have flour? I mean, uh, uh, uh. Did I mix the flour and the oil together? Y'all get what I'm saying. Okay, my point is Y'all get what I'm saying. Sometimes you make a roux. A roux and gravy is two different things. Give me a little water, more water back there. Is regular water? Yeah, regular water's fine. No, come on. Yeah. Come on. Okay, that should be good. Okay, next you're going to add your salt, your pepper, and, um, just your salt and your pepper. That's all you need. Salt and pepper. If you want to add more to it, you can, but I just add salt and black pepper to mine. Where is black pepper at? Right here. This is small salt and salt. Now I'm going to taste it to make sure it's sweet enough. If it ain't sweet enough, I can add more you sugar. Already your salt. You already added my salt. To it. I'm going to turn my skillet down. Oh my, you still need this mixture, huh? No, I need some more sugar. Well, the one sweet. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Give me another spoon. Here, you try it. Because, you know, I don't get... But you know what? I hit that witch come, so I was eating sweets. Why are you saying no? I just hit it too. Huh? I just hit it too. What, well, sweets? The pie sauce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I should have been here. Yeah, I don't know if it's sweet enough. Because I've been eating sweets. Come on now. Come on, girl. It's not sweet enough. Let me hit the salt. Okay, give me some more sugar. I need to make my face like that. This 
tastes good though. It's just you for real. <laughs> oh, that pepper hit you in your throat. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Then I'm just gonna add the rest of this little butter on top. You know, a fat girl loves butter. My mom not fat. First of all, I'm size two. Two. Here. Two. Okay. She ain't seen a size two since she was two. Oh. She tried it. What's up, y'all? Okay, so I'm gonna make the cornbread. Here we go. Now, I, I have a special recipe for how I make my cornbread, and this is how we're going to do it. I do have a box of Jiffy. I have baking powder. I have sugar, two eggs, milk, a vegetable oil, margarine, and uh, cornmeal. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to take our oil, our vegetable oil. This is the pan we're going to use, and we're going to pull it. So, I'm in the bottom pan. I'll say maybe about three tablespoons. We're going to pour it in the bottom of the pan. There we go. So, now you got some in the bottom of the pan like that. See that in there? Can y'all see that? Okay, we're going to pull just a little bit back. Okay, you still want to keep a little bit in there. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the oven. Because we want this grease to get really hot. While that grease is getting hot, we're going to put, uh, grab our measuring cups, and we're going to use three, four cups of milk. No, yeah. No. What we're going to do first is we're going to partially melt our butter. Three, four cups. Three, four cups. Three, four cups of margarine. Like that, y'all. That's good. It ain't got to be exact. That's good. And we're going to partially melt it. We'll be back. So just like that, a partial milk. Then we're gonna take three fourth cups of milk, a heaping cup. So is when you pour a little bit over, like that. Okay. Oh, we got our whisk. Whisk, we're gonna mix up together. Just a little bit, that's what it look like. And then we'll crack four five eggs. Two eggs, y'all. This uh is gonna be moist in the middle, like a cake, right? But it's gonna be crispy on the bottom. The way you like corn. So and I came up with this recipe on my own. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put half a cup of sugar. Wow. 
then we're gonna put one fourth cup. So this spoon is about one fourth cup, a little bit over this spoon. A quarter. Of That's about one fourth cup, y'all. And then the last but not least thing we're gonna add is um we're gonna add our baking powder. Let me see exactly how much it is. Mama, yeah. I'm like, uh, did your phone go dead on me? I had text the recipe to her. Yeah, okay. Oh, I forgot the sour cream. So sour cream, and then the baking powder, one fourth teaspoon. One fourth teaspoon. So one fourth. What some people say, one one tis. One fourth tis. And then the sour cream is gonna be. Um, a half a cup of sour cream. Let me grab you guys. Half a cup. We got my half a cup right here. And it's just regular sour cream, y'all. Just like that. Oh, yeah. I'm see. And I smell our oil, y'all. I didn't even put my box of Jiffy in, y'all, and one box of Jiffy. I'm like, why do we feel so loose? <laughs> ah. See that? That's how it should be. All right, now she good. Now get your um your pan out the oven that you put your grease in. Your oil should look like water. Y'all see how it's moving like water? Y'all see that? That's how your oil should look like water. That's how you know it's hot and ready. And you just gonna. Ooh. Just pour it right in there. And it's gonna cook for a while, y'all. I say. Hold on, let me see what I wrote. How long I wrote this after I uh, heated up the oven at 375. I got the oven on 350 right now. It don't say nothing, it's just gonna say cook to a done. I ain't put no time on it. But if I'm if I think right, this probably took me about like 30, 30 to 45 minutes. This box says it takes. It say put your oven on for honey. And it says take. It says the 20 minutes. This is going to take longer than that. I'm going to let y'all know that. So you go ahead and put slide in that oven. Yeah. I am going to turn the oven up, y'all. I'm going to turn the oven up to 375. And there we go. You just wait till it's done. Y'all, we're back. Now I'm ready to get those pop 
the pork chops are popping. So y'all know we already seasoned. You know what we use? Seasoned salt. Um, all seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. Alexis will use a little little kick to husk because she like her pork chops. Y'all know how I get down. Spicy, you can't handle the heat. Get out the kitchen. Well, she out the kitchen because I'm gonna start my pork chops because I don't put I don't do spice. It don't like me, and I don't like. Come on, give them a close up so they can see the season. They can, they want to smell it. Ooh. Y'all smell that? And then I, I, instead of using a brown paper bag, y'all, we done graduated to a plastic bag. Amen. I got some flour, probably like two cups of flour in here. I got my um, my um, my deep fryer already plugged up full to the max with oil, fresh oil, cause you want it to be nice and fresh. It does stop sizzling. I'm gonna do my test to make sure. Oh, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Y'all hear the sizzle. The sizzle. So that means that it is red tea. Red time. We're gonna get these chops to chopping. Shake off the excess flour. And drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. And get it. And get it. I bet you won't drop it. I bet y'all won't either because I won't be able to get it back up. Oh man, drop it like it's hot, pick it up like it's cold. Honey, your mama is about to turn. I ain't gonna say next month is my biggity biggity birthday. You gonna drop it like it's hot on your birthday, mom? No. Oh man, the people want to see it. You gonna take me out for my birthday? Yep, I got you. McDonald's, here we come! Mickey Diggles! All right, y'all, look at my plate. Now, y'all know how long the food would take to cook on Sunday. So, excuse us for the long video. So, let me, let me, let me get some of the, 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 my, you want me to call it cream corn or fried corn? It's fried corn. Let me get some of the fried corn. Here you go, close up, y'all. That's good. Mm-mm. Got some cornbread. Look at that. See that? It's right. gonna take you as long as to. <laughs> Y'all, mm -hmm. make y'all cornbread like this, y'all. I'm telling you. That's my least the swine. That's the fine. I was gonna, I was gonna eat it like a, like a pretty girl. Mm -mm. Look at that pork chop, y'all. Look at that. Mm -mm. Mm. Stop. Y'all. Hold on. I'm for the destiny. Delicious is my approved. Hashtag hands down. My approved. I should have forgot her line. <laughs> I'm sleepy, y'all. And we out. Mama. Yeah, baby. We got a problem. What's the problem? The everybody film, they ain't like it. They ain't commenting. They ain't subscribing. They ain't even sharing the video so it can be a blessing to somebody else. They keeping the recipes all to themselves. What? Now that's the coldest one. Okay, but what you gonna do about that though? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Mama, who are you calling? Ghostbusters. What is Ghostbusters gonna do? They're gonna bust them up.